Meanwhile, an oil spill in a local river could be a concern for Lake Arcadia. Our Jacqueline Sith is in Sky News 9 reporting live near Britain Road and I-35 with a breaking news update for us now. Jacqueline? We're right over the Deep Fork River where we're told there are about 8,000 feet of waterway with oil in it. Let's go straight to the live picture. That's about the length of 22 football fields. And for days now, work crews have been working to clean this mess up. Sky News 9 HD hovered over the river as EPA workers clean up hundreds of barrels of oil that have spread in the Deep Fork River. Just in the last hour, we saw several workers on a boat using soaking pads and other equipment to keep this oil from spreading. We're told the oil spill came from an old abandoned pipeline that started leaking Monday. The leak was about the size of a of an adult thumb. And that hole was all it took to spill an estimated 250 barrels of oil that have spread in the Deep Fork River. That's equivalent to a total of 10,500 gallons of oil. Apparently this pipeline has run across the Deep Fork for some time. Now we suspect, but we don't know for sure, that the recent flooding weakened it and weakened its, its uh, underpinnings and uh, helped bring about the leak. Since then, a local pipeline company volunteered to help stop the spill from spreading. And now EPA workers are getting a handle on soaking up the oil. Take a look at this map where you can see the water runs north into the Arcadia Lake. But the Oklahoma Corporation Commission spokesperson tells News 9 the spill will not affect the lake. Lake Arcadia is a reservoir. It's a drinking, it's a drinking water supply for the city of Edmond. So anything in there like this is certainly detrimental at, at best. So it's, we're very uh, glad that it was able to be stopped. And we're told the pipeline is no longer leaking and they do have the situation under control. Now EPA tells me it will take up to 7 to 10 days before they finish cleanup and they will work through the weekend to get it done. Back to you. All right, Jacqueline Sidforce, Corporation Commission spokesperson, also tells us it will take about a week before they find out who is responsible for the abandoned pipeline if there is a responsible.